high. As you know that gold prices are actually denominated in dollars. And one question again which is frequently asked is that what is the real effect in terms of rupees? Which is that if the dollar price moves by one dollar, then what is the effect on the price in India, on the screen, on MCX or NCDX? So I think this it's a very uh, relevant question and I think all of us should be looking at the exact calculation about what the effect of one dollar changes. So let us take an example. Let us assume for a second today that gold is $1236 per troy ounce. Now one troy ounce is 31.1 grams approximately and that is the calculation which we will be taking. And of course if you are going to take the dollar price of gold as changing then we will also consider the rupee conversion as constant in the sense that 61.1 rupees make one dollar so that will remain equal on both sides so let me just try and put this in the form of a table which makes it very soft, simple and very objective uh, this is when the dollar price of gold is twelve hundred and thirty six dollars per troy ounce and this side i'm going to do when the price changes by one dollar which is it becomes twelve hundred and thirty seven dollars per troy ounce now, in this, I will also take the conversion into rupees because almost all our gold, 99.99% .99 of the gold is imported and therefore the prices are essentially dictated from abroad. So we are taking on both sides uh, $1 equal to 61.1 rupees. So I am just putting this as equal here and it is the same. So we are going to use this number on both sides. Or uh, just for the sake of uh, you know getting the calculation right, we'll also put that one troy ounce is 31.103 grams, and obviously it is the same on both sides. Now, so what would be the price per 10 grams? So it would be 1236 on this side, multiplied by 61.1, divided by 31.103. This will give per gram. And then you multiply this by 10 and you will get a number which is so many rupees per 10 grams. Similarly on this side it would be 1236 into 61 point, 1237 sorry into 61.1 divided by 31.103 into 10. So on the left hand side you will get a number of 24 to 80 and on the right hand side you get a number of 24,300. Now, this number, import duty will get added. So, import duty is 10% of that. So, you know, uh, 242 gets added here, and uh, 243 gets added on this side. So what you will get is that movement of one ounce of gold will convert into 20 rupees of change in price. So I am taking the duty part out because it is a very small component of this. But essentially you will see that 1236 and 1237 when the dollar moves by one rupee, the price of gold in India will move by approximately 20 rupees. So now when you are tracking the price of gold and you know every time you see it in the paper, you see it on television and you see the change in price in gold, you will be able to instantly calculate what is the change in India on the price of gold here.